Welcome to Studio 5. Happy New Year to you. We've made it to our first uplifting entertainment countdown of the new year. The creator of the second installment of Crudes is in the hot seat this week. We've got a closer look at the film, The Last Champion as well, and we want to begin with the top five countdown. So let's get started. At number five. Party. Congratulations to Gospel Music's CC Winans, who's sharing on Instagram. She's a proud first-time grandmother. She writes, I'm in love. Wyatt Thomas Phillips, born today. The best Christmas gift ever. Say good morning to everybody. Grandma Winans has even posted video of little Wyatt, who was born to her daughter, Ashley Love, and husband, Kenny Phillips, December 26th. So glad it's At number four. If you ran out of stuff to watch over the holidays, you're in luck. A new streaming service launched Monday, Discovery Plus, which will have content from Discovery Channel, HGTV, OWN, Food Network, The Travel Channel, and more. Discovery Plus boasts the biggest content library at launch of any service. Well, that begins our countdown and brings us to Joel Crawford. He's an artist and now a director, making his debut with the hit film, The Crudes, A New Age. Take a look as we begin our conversation. My name's Eep. Big it stuff. It's news. And we're the world's first family, The Crudes. Oh, another glorious morning. Dad always says the pack stays together. That's my girl. <gasps> Seatbelt mode. Now we're searching for a perfect place to call home. There was certainly lots of love for Crudes some seven years ago, and here we sit seven years now. <laughs> well, that's it for me. Any pressure? Because from my understanding, you had nothing to do with the first. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And, and this is my my uh, directorial debut for features. Okay. So, so yeah, a lot, a lot of pressure. I thought cave people died off years ago. We happy meet you. Thanks. So tell me about the the story. So cave family meets modern family, and that's sort of their obstacle. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> other people, <laughs> that's the obstacle. And coming across a different group of people with completely different ideas, um, honestly is a very, it's, it's, it's something we face <laughs> in our normal life, right? Lots of yeah. different opposing views. Well, we can just sleep pile right here. Got it. <laughs> Solid spot, Dad. Look, Phil, they sleep in a pile. Ooh, fun. Nah. -uh. Actually, everyone gets their own rooms. <gasps> We get separate rooms. And there's a lot of fun with, it's it's a cave family, the Crudes, but we, we can all, I think we all see our own selves in that family. That's what I love about them. I have to ask because I'm watching, I'm like, wow, a paradise with forbidden fruit. Sounds real, real <laughs> <laughs> You know, that that had definitely crossed my mind during it, like during the, the, the making of, you know, some things just kind of steep in, which are very organic to like, you know, it's, it's the, the perfect world but there's there's the one rule <laughs> and my dad doesn't even know about this one whoa peanut toe the the fun of of this chapter is that the crews get to go into a whole new world and experience like something that even the audience hasn't seen from the first crews which is this wonderful paradise even more saturated colors than the first movie and so it feels like you you're viewing they're expanding world through the crude's eyes. I have to ask about the timing of the release for this film, because I'm certain as you're making it and creating it, your di directorial debut, <laughs> you were not thinking this That's is the exactly world. exactly how I pictured it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're going to release it to. <laughs> I'm happy this movie's coming out right now. Mm. Um, because the, the big theme, the, 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 the big message of this is the power of family in an uncertain world. And, and for me, there, there's this um, the sense of joy of seeing two very different groups of people um, come together, realize they need that connection in order to have a brighter future. Mm. Uh, and so for me, I'm like, 
you know, in any form, people can watch this right now. I want people to be safe, but like, there's a joy built into this movie that uh, I feel like we really need today. I don't know if cave people belong in a modern world. What's your problem, big guy? This place is changing everyone. Guy? And we really need to limit Thunk's window time. Not now, Douglas, the birds are on. In my day, we didn't stare at birds. There's so much like negativity in the world. There's so many bad things out of our control. And if we can put a little bit of joy into things, mm. like I'm, I'm blessed to be able to, to, to get to do this. The only way to survive is if the pack stays together. What's that? Kill circle. <laughs> Today is a good day to die! Hey everyone, you'll never guess what I found out! <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> The Crudes, A New Age is available right now on multiple platforms. Still to come. You got a lot of guts showing your face around here. I was hoping to get a loan. I can't lend money on a mortgage that's 24 months in default. Legally, you can't foreclose. An intimate look at The Last Champion. Life is better with a good night's sleep. Get your free DVD or booklet of Protect Your Sleep as the world watches from the outside. It's a big diplomatic tug of war here in the Middle East. Go inside the story with Jerusalem Dateline. Israeli archeologists are talking about a discovery that could change the thinking about the Temple Mount. Join CBN Jerusalem Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell and get the biblical perspective on the events shaping the world. It's what starts in Israel then ends up going to other places. Watch Jerusalem Dateline Friday night at 9.30 on the CBN News Channel. Life, it's meant to be lived fully. Jesus said it, I came to give you life, life to the fullest, life in your family, life in your finances, life in your body, mind, and spirit, life in your every day. At CBN.com, we're taking what Jesus said seriously. We're here to help you discover life. Life. Live it fully. CBN.com. Yeah, buddy. How many nickels are in a dollar? There are 20 nickels Look, in a dollar. How do birds fly? Does milk really make my bones stronger? Yeah, yeah. Daddy, when we die, will we go to heaven? Do you have the answer to life's biggest question? Call the 700 Club. We'll help you find answers to the important questions life brings your way. At number three. You ever had a beef with these guys prior? Lou Blood star Tom Selleck paid it forward, joining a challenge that encouraged him to leave a $2,020 tip at a New York City restaurant just ahead of the new year. We can wallow in self-pity or we can play. His Blue Bloods TV son, Donnie Wahlberg, tweeted Tuesday, I found out my TV dad has generously accepted the 2020 tip challenge. Love you, Dad. It's like the guy's going for a new world record. At number two. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. This week marks the final five Jeopardy episodes with Alex Trebek as host. He lost his battle to cancer. 
and the season begins with a surprising and powerful message about giving. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You'll recall that about a month ago, I asked all of you to take a moment to give thanks for all of the blessings that you enjoy in your lives. Now, today, a different kind of message. This is the season of giving. I know you want to be generous with your family, your friends, your loved ones. But today, I'd like you to go one step further. I'd like you to open up your hands and open up your heart to those who are still suffering because of COVID-19. People who are suffering through no fault of their own. We're trying to build a gentler, kinder society. And if we all pitch in just a little bit, we're going to get there. Well, with that, the countdown of the best headlines and uplifting entertainment will continue with the number one story in just a little bit. Here's the premise of our next feature. He's a scandal ridden former Olympian forced to return home by the death of his mother. And when he gets there, he must face a hometown that has not forgiven him. Here's a look at the last champion and a chat with the film's creators. Junior high champion John Wright he hasn't lost this year. John Wright is dominating at these Olympic trials. You got a lot of guts showing your face around here. I was hoping to get a loan. I can't lend money on a mortgage that's 24 months in default. Legally, you can't foreclose. I can do anything I want. You're not the star here anymore. Is it safe to say that this film is a family affair? <laughs> <laughs> it is safe to say that, yes. Yeah. And there's a, there's a member of our team that's not um, here today, but our daughter, um, Ivy Withrow, uh, co-writes with us. You worked so hard for these. Please don't throw them away. I don't even know who this person is anymore. I know him. I think there's an opportunity for you to do the right thing for this town, and I can help you find a way out of your mess. By coaching the team. That's right. How did this story come to your family? We said we really wanted to do a redemptive piece. We wanted to do a comeback story. A hero story, and that's really how you know, the, where the genesis of this was. Here, here, all right. I get down and then move. Why was this an important story to tell now? When we wrote it, mm -hmm. there was uh, a different world we were living in. Yeah. The the odd thing is that this happens to be landing at a time when. There's so much heartbreak and so much division right now. And and this movie is about forgiveness and love and community. And it just happens to, you know, be landing particularly poignantly at this moment. And also I think um, why, why, why it's really relevant now is a, a lot of what's going on, it seems hopeless out there and it will never come together. And I think this has got a great message of hope. As I'm watching the film, I kept going back um, and, and trying to find this story. It's like, who, whose life is this based on? Who, who did this happen to? That's how real. Uh, it oh, felt thank you so it. much. But I think we want it to be like an every man story too, or every woman, but it just happens to be this guy is the one we center the, mm -hmm. the story around. But just that, that inability to function because you feel so ashamed and you're carrying this regret and you don't know what to do with it. And it just sort of defined his life for many, many years until he had to just finally break open and, and face his demons and, and face the past. And we wanted to keep it the message as, as broad as we could so anybody could feel that I know someone like that or, or I have felt like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We wanted to keep it very, with all the characters, really three-dimensional, very um, um, authentic. Life's weird, huh? Yeah. Can be a tough opponent for sure. It was very many, meaningful for us to, uh, to 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 get the story right because I think it represents a lot of what people are feeling right now. You know, I think there's a lot of despair, and I think this can really, if we can take somebody away for two hours and not be about themselves, or not be about politics, or not be about anything else except let's watch this sort of inspirational story that we've done right now. What's your hope for the film as we sit for the world get ready to get ready to receive it? I feel like I just would love 
if if people are feeling uh, hopeless and that they they have gotten into some sort of place or or somebody knows somebody who's who's without any hope and and that if they saw this movie they could find hope like that that would be I mean to touch hearts that way would uh, it would be remarkable. Panthers on three. One, two, three. Panthers. The Last Champion is available right now. You can find it on multiple platforms. Before we pause for a quick break right here, this is a good time to share a story in pictures. Here's this week's Studio 5 Snapshot. After a lifetime of being the world's most famous enemies. You can't count on me like one, two, three. I'll Tom and Jerry dead. are about to start over. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do all oh, yeah. day in the big city. And that big city journey and 80 year old feud aim to hit movie theaters at the end of next month. This sneak peek at the images from the film is this week's Studio 5 snapshot. Still ahead. I'd like to write letters to the girls for certain milestones in their lives. It's a true story of three friends and one lifetime friendship. I thought that you were gonna be gone for a couple weeks. What changed? I got here and I saw that one person can't do this job. We're taking a look at our friend. Are you suffering from feeling tired or worn out during the day? Can you not turn off your brain at night? You are not alone. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, and I've partnered with the Christian Broadcasting Network, and we're gonna bring you some unbelievable information that you can use tonight to get a better night's rest. Wake up to your best life. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to cbn.com to get your free copy of Protect Your Sleep today. Nutrition, exercise, essential oils, weight loss, and more. It's Healthy Living with Lori Johnson. Talk about what's in this. Join CBN health reporter Lori Johnson to get the latest information from today's top health experts. This is fantastic. Find out what you need to know to live a healthier life. Watch Healthy Living, Tuesday night at 9.30. Superbook fans, here's something else you'll love. <laughs> it's the new Superbook Bible app. <laughs> it's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy to understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta da! Come uh, sorry, pardon me. Sorry, excuse me. Ouch! Are you getting this? Earn super points to win daily prizes, too. And so much more! <sighs> Time to get back to my adventures. See you soon. It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. before you marry is a bad idea. Don't tell me there's no such thing as gun violence. That just depends on your definition of when life begins. Watch Dan and Dale tackle trending topics that test your faith on the next Faith Wire, Monday night at 9.30. Welcome back to Studio 5. We have an inspiring and extraordinary true story to share. At the center of it is a journalist, his wife, and their young daughters. And what happens when their lives are upended by a heartbreaking diagnosis of terminal cancer? Here's your Studio 5 first look at the film, Our Friend. I thought about doing stand-up comedy. You tell jokes? It's pretty scary to come up here. I have a friend who's been wanting to try stand-up, but he's a little chicken. <laughs> Dave is our best friend. Go, Dave! I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Most of the time, I felt like they were married, mm -hmm. and I was just a bystander. Hey, buddy, it's Matt. Want to see how you were doing? Mom! Hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Fruit Loop. Hey, how are you feeling? Tired. Thanks for being here. I won't miss it. Can we talk for a minute, Matt? 
It's going to get very hard. You're going to see things from Nicole never seen before. I can come and help you get to the other side of this. We'd love to have you. How long do you think you'll be up there? I'm hoping just a couple weeks. I just want to make sure Matt gets back on his feet. I usually make breakfast and dinner. Maybe you can take some of that weight off. Speaking of, I was hoping you'd call me Grandma Dane. Sure. Molly, excuse me. Sure, I'll call you Grandma Dane. Thank you. I'd like to write letters to the girls for certain milestones in their lives. <laughs> I want to have blue hair. Molly, will you tell me when it's happening? It's not happening. No. Her entire life, she's wanted to be the Grand Marshal of Mardi Gras. And I want to sing on stage with Katy Perry. That all seems pretty doable. Does it? You've been gone for three months now. I thought that you were going to be gone for a couple weeks. What changed? I got here, and I saw that one person can't do this job. I'm still a valid gotta, person, Yeah, you Matt. are, but you got to take Don't get out of there! I don't think you're this upset because I'm late. What's happening? I think you're mad because mom is sick. Why are you so hard on your dad? <laughs> Molly, you've broken my body. I saw you smile. People don't look at me when they talk to me anymore. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. You always will be. Nicole's my best friend, too. I'm happy to be here. Our friend will be available to you come January 22nd. We'll be sure to share even more as we get closer. With that, we have made it to the final headline in this week's countdown of the best stories in the world of uplifting entertainment. Here is the number one story. For number one. I've seen life slowly fading away. I've we head to California's Loma Linda University where ER nurse Tad Worku is making headlines for using his voice and songwriting to comfort fellow frontline workers. I put tear on a face, but in all I've seen love remains. The Christian recording artist released his debut album back in February and then walked away to return to nursing and the tireless work of treating patients suffering with COVID-19. When I went back into nursing school, um, I didn't necessarily think that I would do music and healthcare. You see, people always told me just wait and see. When you get a little older, the world will be. The purpose for music kind of became um, processing through the experiences of healthcare. Love remains, love remains. Ooh. Love remains, love remains. Coming up, if you could go back and give advice to your child, your, the younger Joel, if you would, what would you tell him? <laughs> A final question and answer from Crude's director, Joel Crawford. Come home to the sounds of Southern Gospel from CBN Radio. You'll enjoy a rich Southern blend of bluegrass, classic gospel, and Southern gospel favorites like the Gaithers, the Crab Family, and bluegrass sounds like Mountain Faith. So make yourself at home with the all-new CBN Southern Gospel, now available at CBNRadio.com. It's about the competition. I kind of put that pressure on myself, and I think people had expectations. It's about overcoming. We use this phrase all the time, keep chopping, keep practicing hard. It's about going the distance. You know, I think as a father, it's my job, you know, to lead. Just be the best husband and father I can be. Watch Going the Distance with Sean Brown Saturday night at 7.30 on the CBN News Channel. Life, it's meant to be lived fully. Jesus said it, I came to give you life, life to the fullest, life in your family, life in your finances, life in your body, mind, and spirit, life in your every day. At CBN.com, we're taking what Jesus said seriously. We're here to help you discover life. 
life. Live it fully. CBN.com. When I came to Regent University, it's like the world opened up. I felt like I needed to advance my career and go back to school. Regent was a perfect fit for me. The Regent professors are world class. You are equipped. The focus of the faculty is on each individual student, whether it's online or in person. You become a part of Regent's family. You carry with you not just the content and the knowledge, but the confidence to understand that we can be significant in the world. Regent University. Follow your path. Welcome back to Studio 5. This week, two amazing voices come together to render an unforgettable soundtrack for this show. Take a listen and hear why John Legend and Carrie Underwood are playing Hallelujah in my ear. On that musical note, we are almost out of time for this edition of Studio 5. So let's take a moment and look ahead so we can show you what's coming up next week. Yahweh, Yahweh, woo, we lift you high. It's the singing Yahweh, side of Pastor Matthew Stevenson. Come alive. Why is this music important for this time? You're the healer. You are the cure. He's taking Studio 5 inside the Come Alive Project and all nations music. The music is a medicine for every human heart. I don't think we have a more appropriate resource than music. I am, you gave us a name that's above every other name. Please come back and join us for that story and so much more next week. Before we say goodbye this week, though, we want to give the final word to artist and film director Joel Crawford. If you could go back and give advice to your child, your, the younger Joel, if you would, what would you tell him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I tell him that um, all the subjects in school, because he only liked to draw, all the subjects in school that he was like, I'm not going to need this, like like reading and <laughs> writing, like, because I, I honestly struggled in certain areas, not till after I got out of high school was I was like, I need all of these, <laughs> even mm -hmm. if I'm going into a creative area, you know, to, to be a great writer, to, to be under, able to read, you know, uh, competently. There's all these aspects that go into any passion. Thank you, Joel. That is a great final word for this edition of Studio 5 and this week's look at uplifting entertainment. Until next time, I encourage you to make time to uplift someone around you and then please come right back here and see where Studio 5 takes you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.